Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aries. Hey Aries! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. Quick look, not too long. Alright, so we have the Ten of Wands reversed here for you Aries. Um, I feel like you guys are, I think you guys have a lot of goals, right? I feel like you're extremely ambitious. That's the energy that I'm getting. But I kind of feel like some of you guys may be putting too much pressure on yourself uh, having to do with some sort of a situation. I personally believe this has to do with business. I think it has to do with your goals. Some of you guys may feel like you're not as far ahead as you need to be. Um, and some of you guys are just like, okay, I am way too, I have too much going on. I have too much, I'm exhausted. I have to find a way to find balance. All right, so I think some of you guys are trying to find balance in a situation, all right, where this, it's causing you exhaustion. You have to find a better way to manage um, what is important and what is not important, okay? So what needs to be done immediately? It's like prioritizing in a sense. So I think you guys might fare a little bit better when it comes to that. Balancing what needs to be done versus things that I like doing, all right? But sometimes you have to take time to yourself. I am seeing that. Um, and don't feel guilty about it. That's fine. We have the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords. Mm. This is a thief card. Somebody taking something that's not theirs. Now, this could be your energy, Aries, or it could be somebody else here. I do see, um, I see air energy here, right? I also see fire here, too, as well. So, I feel like some of you guys, uh, maybe you feel like somebody uh, took something from you. Somebody robbed you. Somebody's deceiving you, not telling you the truth about something. All right. The funny thing about this energy now, I don't know if this is you. I, I, you know, I don't see, I don't, I don't get the vibe that you're really gonna hide too much. So I don't know if this is your energy, but I do feel like somebody's just out there doing something. They don't care who sees. No big deal. Yep. I know. I know. I live upstairs, and you're downstairs at the corner store. And I, I know she's looking downstairs at me, talk to you, like right in front of your face. They don't care. So I just want to point out that type of uh, that type of nonchalant, I could care less energy. I hate to be like that, guys, but that's what I see here, okay? So I feel like some of you guys could be hiding something, manipulating the situation, or somebody could be doing that to you, all right? What these cards are saying is whoever you're in a relationship with, Aries, okay, because I feel like your partner is deceiving you, or it could be you deceiving them. You guys need to have an open, honest talk about the status of this relationship, whether or not we're happy, whether or not we're not happy, you need to have those conversations because some things need to be addressed. All right? I feel like you're starting to see that somebody is taking something from you. It's not like it's reversed. I think this is a suspicion that you might actually have. But yeah, I think this is happening. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed here. Now, this is a good one. It's really good because there's this opportunity out there for you. All right? There's an opportunity that, you know, it could be having to do with money, finances, wealth. Some of you guys could be going from being rich to wealthy. All right. You could be a thousandaire going to a millionaire. However, that goes for you. I feel like there's going to be some step up in status. However, I do see a delay with it. All right. I feel like there's a delay because of you, Aries. <sighs> now, I know you guys are really ambitious. All right. And I feel like you guys have this way of like in your mind, everything is down to I'm going to do it at this time. This time. And sometimes things get thrown off track. Right. But sometimes I feel like you guys over exhaust yourself or overbook yourselves overextend, overpromise yourself to others, you know, sometimes I just don't feel like doing it, you know, so I feel like you want to be um, a little bit mindful of that, that's just the energy here, but the thing is, we do see somebody here who is, this energy here is going to be extremely successful because this money making thing that's coming about, as long as you can clear the way, Aries, and make sure you're going in the right direction as it has to do with a business or a relationship or whatever, I don't see you really failing with this, all right? One thing that you guys have to uh, keep in mind, right, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like the big thing about this is there's going to be some money opportunity, money, wealth, rich, whatever, all right, investments. Like some of you guys are like, okay, the best way for me to put this, there's going to be something that you expect to happen, Aries. You expect this to happen, but the way you see it playing out in your head and the actual reality of it is different. And because it doesn't play out the way you want it to, it can potentially be disappointing. So if I say, hey, I'm going to make a deal with you. I'm going to give you $1 million, right? $1 million, okay. Now, I say, listen, I'm going to give you $1 million in coins or whatever, right? So you're like, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire, but I'm not going to have it in cash. I'm going to have it in coins. 
You understand what I'm saying? So it's something like that. Something kind of like that where there's some opportunity where you don't really see what it's about yet. So it's almost like you dismiss it and you ignore it. Uh, but you got something coming to you. There's something great coming. This is this is pretty awesome. It's going to be a height. It's going to be something new and it's going to be this opportunity and you might frown at it at first. But once you start to realize that a million is a million and plus you can grow, who's making more money, right? Is it the bank right now, you know, with uh, the interest or is it coins? So it's like glass half full. How do you look at it? Okay. So we also have page of swords here. Now, I don't know if this is a past for you where you were in a relationship with somebody, but Aries, I'm seeing that you might be walking away from somebody that you're with or were with, or I don't know if this is a past, but I feel like there's somebody who you felt like they were deceiving you. But when we go here to the page of swords, I do see where you're going to get some kind of message. There's going to be some kind of communication. Somebody who is younger than you is going to come around. All right. Um, this person is going to show you a different way of life. This person is, they're cute. This person is charismatic. This person speaks. This person lives. And they're going to show you how to live. So that's what I have for that. All right. <clears throat> now, I am going to pull a romance angel for... Seven of Swords. All right. Because so with the Seven of Swords, somebody may have walked away. And it could have been you. Or uh, air sign could have walked away from you. I see Earth here. I see more air. Mm, okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith and romance. Will, okay. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. So that falls under the Seven of Swords. All right. Seven of Swords is about somebody being dishonest. So I figure, Aries, you may have gone through something or you might be in the midst of coming out of something or you realize there's something about somebody that you were with or are with or somebody you had suspicions about. I feel like this person, um, I don't know. I feel like something's wrong with this person. And what it does, this person discourages you. They're, you're like, I don't want to deal with this again. So the cards are saying be optimistic about your love life because with this that I see here, with the Seven of Swords upright, it just looks like we need to talk about these things because, things because I'm acknowledging that they are real. So maybe you're hoping that a conversation had will make this better for you. But I kind of feel like you're going to end up meeting somebody new. Somebody who might be better for you. Uh, I don't know. Or it could maybe the other person got better. I don't know. But also some of you guys could be going back to school, new classes. Tell me more about the optimistic what happens here. Free yourself. I think you're still uh, thinking about this person or coming out of thinking about them. Free yourself. It's time to, I'm coming out. All right? Or maybe you're not acknowledging you're coming out. How about that goes for you? Stay optimistic about your love life. I think you're looking to walk away from this person. Give me something for this last person. If this is a person, tell me if this is one person or two, please. Help me understand the Page of Swords, please. Help me understand the Page of Swords. Ooh. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. Tell me why. Free yourself. I think you go over to somebody else and... Or maybe this is your energy and this person is not giving you calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Unrequited love. Calling in your soulmate. What's next? Pay attention to red flags here. <sighs> I don't know if this is the same. I don't know. I, I feel like, Aries, I feel like you're trying to call in your soulmate. And maybe you have feelings for somebody and the love was unrequited or it could have been the other way around. Maybe you didn't feel that way about them. Right? But I see pay attention to red flags. All right? So this, I feel like this is a new person for you guys. And I think you might think the world of this person, but... Maybe really what they are. Maybe they don't feel the same way about you. Maybe maybe somebody friend zoned you or something. Pay attention to red flags. Maybe you think this person is your soulmate because it did come out between unrequited love, call it in your soulmate, and pay attention to red flags. I think some of you guys might believe that uh, there's some air energy or air sign who might be, um, I guess, your, your soulmate. But you're being advised to pay attention to red flags because there's something that this person does. I don't know if it's a little bit of a turn off for you. I feel like you may have heard some things. I don't know. Maybe you heard something about this person. That could be possible. 
So pay attention to red flags, unrequited love. I don't know what that's about. Give me one more, please. Getting to know each other. Mm, mm, okay. I feel like this is a new person over here. I feel like you guys freed yourself from somebody over here or some situation. Right? Um, because this person was playing manipulative games. And I feel like... I feel like this is a situation with this old person that's really, in a sense... I don't want to say hindering you from seeing certain things in front of you. I don't feel like that's true. I feel like that might be your own energy blocking the opportunities. Not blocking, but not seeing them for what they are. So be careful with that. Do I feel like these are different? Um, kind of. I feel like you're putting a lot of work into something while acknowledging that there's some relationship or somebody that you were interested in is not working out for you. Do I think you verbalize it? I think you say what it is or you just slip away like, all right, whatever. Um, I also think that with you guys, here's where the opportunity falls. The opportunity is there's something out there, something right in front of me that I can't see, but it's an extremely amazing whatever, whatever. Now, while you go through this, I see you running into somebody else who comes across as sweet, curious, da, da, da. oh, they're great. This person's, I don't want to, I don't, okay, what's the best way to describe this person? This person is a multitasker. I think this person, um, I think this person can't really stay interested in anything for a while, right? So some, if you're not stimulating them, like you could think you're, you're in love with them and maybe you'll voice it or this could be your energy and then they turn around and they're like, oh, oh yeah, I went out with uh, so-and-so. Mm, what do you mean you went out with what? I thought, I thought, me no, we're friends. Like one of those flighty, remember like, what was it, Jennifer Aniston in that movie? One of my friends always told me about that movie. Yeah, where she was just like, yeah, yeah, like that. Like somebody was like five minutes later. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so that's what I see here, guys. So this, um, getting to know each other. I think that you or the other person is questioning whether or not this is even worth doing because of the red flags here, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is reverse, so I don't know necessarily how this goes. I feel like you meet somebody... I feel like you realize it's unrequited, and I think, again, you start calling in your soulmate. I don't know if I necessarily believe that this person, that you think this person is your soulmate. I believe you think it's unrequited. I think the next step for you is meditation, praying, you know, and then being mindful of who you run across with the red flags. Uh, getting to know each other, I still think you're questioning whether or not you want to get to know this person. I feel like you get, your feelings go, does this person like me or does this person not? This person could be my soulmate, but this person can't. Pay attention to something longer than two minutes or have an articulate, smart conversation about anything having to do with history or even ice cream. So, I don't know what this means to you. That's all I got for you guys. I love you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Wait, no, hold on. Let me pull a fortune cookie. I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be... No matter what I do. If I talk a lot or I, take, I talk a little, it's always the same 15 minutes, okay? Give me a fortune since we're here. We may as well pull fortune cookie for Aries, please. What does it? Okay, one flipped over. Uh, I didn't ask my question, and I know that some people like pull it. I can't. It just irks me. Sometimes I feel like it's okay to, but when I have inklings not to, I'm not going to. If it comes out again, it's supposed to come out. Okay. Give me. Oh, give me a message for Aries, please. Message for Aries. Romance. Oh my. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. So if you guys are looking for romance, I, yeah, I think I see some folks here. I see, I don't know, I see one is unsavory, completely unsavory, this person. And then you have this one over here where you're like, uh, but your attention span, uh, like, some may, look, fighting the clouds. Oof. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Anyway, okay. One more, please. One more. Ah, one more, please. One more. Oh, okay. That one, that one. one more, please. One more. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm not... I want it to come out the way I need to come out with you. Okay, I got one. Let's see what it is. Hold on. Perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.